damn Pisces, like y'all cannot catch a break. I'm sorry, I just have to call it how it is, because that last read that I did, that was intense. But SHIT, this read is about to be intense as well, because you're about to find the truth out about certain... You're about to come into money, that's what this is. But you're, you're unaware of this, you don't see this coming. But Spirit is saying that you need to start having boundaries, because this, this money... This money needs to be kept a secret. A secret society or a secret cult that you are unaware of, that a lot of people around you are a part, are a part of. Okay, yes. It, it's giving sociopath vibes. So it's like a crazy uh, lover there. Like, they're just crazy. Like, you need to uh, keep your distance. Hello, Pisces. How are you? Welcome back to the channel. Star Seaside here. If you're new, make sure to subscribe and join the Soul Tribe. We have a read for you guys. Okay, this is whatever comes up. There's a general read, so take what resonates. I leave what doesn't behind. Crosswashers are welcome. This message is also timeless. Personal reads are elite, truly. In the description box below, I want to thank everyone for all the support. And with all that out of the way, we're going to get started. Thank you so much, angels, ancestors, spirit guides, universe, galactic beings, ancient ancestors, elders, goddess in this read for my Pisces. What messages do you have for us? Truly grateful for divine guidance and celestial light. I don't know why they said mother. So you could be a mother or you could be a father or there's something here with your mother or father. <clears throat> okay, so you have the moon. This is Cancer energy. The Cherry and the Moon card, although in traditional tarot, right, the moon is also uh, Pisces. Well, it was considered Pisces energy, so, you know, Cancer, Pisces, you're technically showing up there in the dice. There you have number one, but it's upside down. That's the Magician in reverse. Okay, that's Gemini energy. That's Mercury retrograde. Then you have Scorpio on its side. This is the death card on the side. This is also the judgment card on the side. This is representing Pluto stationing uh, direct. Mercury retrograde, Pluto stationing direct. Then you have the moon. Hmm. I feel like so much has just been hidden. Why is this? I feel like this is a continuation of the past read that I did for you guys last week. If you haven't watched that, definitely check that out. Look, the... The devil, my throat chakra is literally gonna act act up. Oh, excuse me. Wait, let me let me let me use this lapis lapis lazuli here. Yeah, the, there there has been some stuff here hidden, illusion, the devil and the hierophant. There is family here. There is something here about uh, if this is not family, this is some sort of organization or something. <clears throat> it's either on your end or it's in someone, uh, someone that you know in their circle, okay? There could be like a secret society or a secret cult that you are unaware of, that a lot of people around you are a part, are a part of. Okay, yeah, so the tower and the hierophant. <sighs> Damn, Pisces, like y'all cannot catch a break. I'm sorry, I just have to call it how it is, because that last read that I did, that was intense. But SHIT, this read is about to be intense as well, because you're about to find the truth out about certain people in your family, or certain friends, or both, or about your church. I don't know why, but I heard the church, so somebody here could very much be in the church, but you're, love, you're about to find out the truth about your church. Like, it's not what it seems. I'm telling you, it's something here about a secret cult or something, a secret society, okay, a group of people. It's something here about like these vicious, uh, a vicious coven or, or or these luminaries or something. These uh luminaries, these visionaries, these these strange people that like they feel like they can change the world. Like I, I don't know, it, it's it's something weird. But anyhow. <coughs> Look at my fro chakra acting up so bad in this read. They do not want me to speak this truth. <clears throat> the King of Swords, the King of Pentacles. It's the same person, Eight of Wands. 
You're about to receive communication from a masculine energy here. Okay, and the Four of Wands. This is somebody that you could have known for a long time. Some of you, you could have known this person uh, since you were eight years old. For others, it's been eight years since you last spoke to this person, okay? They are much older than you. I'm noticing the white hair here. So this masculine, uh, this man is much, much older than you. The Four of Swords, he could be like an uncle to you guys. <clears throat> Five of Wands. For some of you, if your uncle has passed away, then he is appearing to you in the uh, spiritual realm, okay? Even if you guys were not close like that, it's something here about this uncle, and for some of you, it's two. For some of you, you your uncle, your, your uncle is a, a twin, like he has a twin. So for some of you, it's a pair. For others, it's two uncles, you know, and, you know, it's their brother, brother, right? The same the same family line, but <clears throat> I'm hearing from your mom's side for a lot of you. Now, for some of you, it's it's not even family. This is just somebody that's older that it's like they see you as their son or daughter. Like they look out after you. This could be your neighbor for some of you. Four of Swords, Five of Wands on the side, Ten of Cups, crossing basically almost upright. It's halfway there. I feel like somebody here is fighting to keep the secrets from you. To, to keep you up the moon. There is somebody here that is fighting to keep you in the dark. It's like they want the darkness like on you they they don't want you to know the full truth they don't want you to know the full truth yeah ace of pentacles in reverse it's something here about money it's something here about money can you tell me more spirit the seven of wands and yeah you see they don't want you to know this no you're about to come into money You're about to come into money. That's what this is. But you're you're unaware of this. You don't see this coming. But Spirit is saying that you need to start having boundaries. Because this this money this money needs to be kept a secret. I can't believe the, the message that has been coming up in these reads. Can can you Can you tell me Six of Cups in reverse and the Ten of Swords? <clears throat> Ten of so the, these whoever this uncle is or these two uncles, okay, like I take back what I said. Don't speak to these people. Don't speak to these people. Don't talk to these people, okay? Because it, it, they're coming in. To, I was saying they're gonna come in and give you guidance or advice. It's they they wanting to give you guidance and advice on this money, on this money that you're coming into. Like trying to tell you what, yeah, the sherry is. Spirit saying yes. Spirit saying yes. Nine of swords. It's like then it would become stressful dealing with them. And the two of cups, it would become stressful dealing with them. Because the king of cups, they would use like, oh, we're family. We're, you know, we're this and that. The emperor there. Oh my god, there's like five people. You need to wash out whoever this look at this. I cannot even make this up. Ten of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. Whoever you are, you need to be careful with your family. If you resonate with this read, for some of you, it's your kids. Like, it's your kids and they're grown. And, you know, their husband, their wife, whatever it may be. But uh, you need to dude like they are coming in hot in this in these reads like the collective y'all are becoming rich but you need to keep it a secret you need to keep this a secret look the king of wands in reverse there's a sagittarius here leo or aries that's toxic okay and they could be in your family they could be a distant cousin or they could be your brother okay but this individual is toxic this this is a an F boy, an F girl, 
Look, the hangman. Right now, you need to be, um, be still. Yeah, Knight of Wands. There's also, like, this crazy person that really wants to, like, get with you in the bedroom. Yeah, death. Like, they could be a Scorpio. It's, like, it, it's, like, really crazy. The energy I'm getting is, like, they, they want you to be, like, the booty call or something. Like, they call you up. And then you come over to their place to give them what they want. Like, it's a sociopath. Okay, definitely block, like, and I'm getting strong, Scorpio. Okay, this is not a lot, like, they may call you for uh, Valentine's Day, you know, being all cute and whatnot. But no, it's, it's just a booty call. Like, they just want to, you know, get with you in an intimate manner. Um, so definitely it's giving sociopath vibes so it's like a crazy uh lover there like they're just crazy like you need to uh, keep your distance also watch these family members because they want access to this money they want access to this money two of pentacles it's going to be mainly two family members here it's two men ace of wands yes yeah, spirit saying yes it's two men however i'm getting for some of you this is two women that are they're in they're very much in their masculine energy like they're very much in their masculine energy this is this is nuts yeah eight of pentacles i'm telling you it's a sociopath like i feel like all of these people are sociopaths or like they're narcissists or you know like psychopath or like they have like manic episodes or something like i don't like this energy at all i don't like it at all look at this the five of wands fighting over the money fighting over the money getting into a fight with you if you if you talk about the money pisces if you talk about the money these people are going to start fighting with you so you need to keep this money a secret you need to keep it all to yourself you need to move in silence you need to yeah justice you see you see justice is going to be served out here for some of you you have a whole inheritance a whole trust fund an estate that is left under your name okay for some of you it's not even family that has left this for you it's like an old friend or a teacher from college i'm hearing a teacher from college from some of you an older professor and they left you in the will for some of you it's your pastor at church or it's your Sunday school teacher that you've known since childhood, since you were a young boy, a young girl, you know, and you de developed a close relationship with this pastor. They were like family. They were like your second dad or your or your second mom, you know, because there are women that are pastors. But it's like now they're old age or they have recently passed and you're about to find out through a letter or OK or some sort of notice that you were left in their will and there's something here about a fifty thousand dollar paycheck i'm telling you but i'm also seeing an estate or a house or a house excuse me i'm also hearing about land it's it's assets here that was left some of you is millions of dollars it's like a million dollar trust fund it's massive amounts of money it's massive why is every sign getting this? Why? Why is every sign, spirit, about the money? Queen of Cups, continue pouring the love into yourself, okay? You might feel alone at this time. Yeah, the hermit, I'm telling you. You might feel alone at this time, but you really need to just keep pushing through, keep uh, going through, because uh, these energies, it's like they're they're going through their karma, okay? You know, we've all been through something. You know, I have been through my ish where I had to live out of a hotel, okay? And even when I was young, when we lived in Puerto Rico, there was really no running water. You know, you had to take a dump in a bucket, okay? So we've come a long way. I'm not talking about, you know, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about people that they feel they are entitled to your money people that are able-bodied they can you know go to school they can work they have plenty of resources plenty of opportunities but they don't want to do it because they don't want to work 
they don't want to do anything with their life. They just want to be taken care of and provided. And that's fine, you know, if you're in a marriage, right? Or, you know, if you have some sort of health condition, right? Then that makes sense. But like I said, these people, they're able-bodied. They're able-bodied. And it seems to me like there's gambling addiction, lottery addiction, car addiction. Like, like people were just out here blowing their money. Now they want somebody to, to pick up the tab for them, for their poor financial decisions. Like, what I get here is that their poor financial decisions have finally caught up to them. Now they want somebody to clean up the mess. I don't get that these people are going through bad luck. You know, that, that they ended up on a bad, you know, out of, you know, things outside of their control. I'm not getting that. I'm getting here that they were very reckless with their life. Very reckless, very irresponsible, refusing to grow up, refusing to take accountability, refusing to budget. And now it's like they're going to start paying the consequences of that. But instead of trying to fix the situation themselves, it's like all these people from your family, it's like they're coming towards you or they're trying to come towards you or they're, or they're stalking you, gang stalking you, spying on you, trying to see what car you drive, trying to see like what house you live in or what apartment you live in, trying to see if there's photos of the inside of your house or, or your apartment, you know, trying to see what furniture you furniture you have, clothes that you wear, okay? It's like they're washing to see if you have money. And some of them, because the devil came out, some of them are spiritual. So they're getting tarot reads or they're trying to get tarot reads or they're trying to do like some mirror magic or something so that they can wash to see if you are living a nice, fruitful, abundant life. Because if that's the case, they're going to try to come in. They want to make contact. It's something here about being spotted out in public. Something here about being spotted out in public. Yeah, it's something here about like TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Home Goods, or I'm hearing LA Fitness as well, Five Below. It's something here about like a family member seeing you out in public and trying to start a, a conversation with you, somebody that you haven't spoken to in months or years. And and very adamant that you give them their you give them your phone number or your social media, like very adamant. Like I'm seeing somebody here very adamant, like shoving this piece of paper. It's like they're not even giving you their phone. It's like they're just giving this piece of paper, like and pen, and saying, write down your phone number, your Facebook, your Instagram, your TikTok, your email. You know, we need to keep in touch. We need to keep in touch. Like it's that sort of energy. Very overbearing, no respect for your boundaries. Um, for some of you, they'll be with these other family members that are looking for 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 the, for some sort of financial assistance. Y'all, these people look rainbow wish granted blessing. I'm telling you, I am telling you abundance, prosperity. I'm telling y'all, I'm trying to tell y'all you're coming into that wealth. You know, at the end of the rainbow is the pot of gold and the leprechaun. Like, but you're gonna, you're gonna look changing. I'm telling you, your situation is changing for the better. But there's these black widows. For some of you, it's your own twin flame. It's your own twin flame or your own soulmate, your own wife or husband that is scheming to stab you in the back once you get this money. You're rising out of the ashes, okay? There's a huge celebration here. The spirit sees you as their bride, that's why. As their bride, as their groom. That's that's why you're receiving this. That's why you are getting this. There's a great celebration in heaven right now. There's a great celebration. Yes, I'm hearing here they are celebrating you, your achievements, your growth, your healing. And it's something here like these people, uh, whatever karmic contracts were here with you and these people, like that ish is over. It's over. It's dead. Like it, it, that contract has been uh, nullified. Like these people can no longer no longer have access to you. And look, well, like they want to have this community. They want the support. And they're looking for resources. They're looking to be provided for. But Spirit is saying that is not going to be the case. 
you're going to be in this vacation energy. Like, you're going to be far away. You see how she's, like, on an island? Like, that's where you're going to be. You're going to be isolated away from these people. Look, sap, fertility, I can't make it up. Fairy tale, like, look at this. Look at this. Resources, grapes, abundance, fertility, bearing fruit, prosperity, I can't make it up. Fairy tale, believe the impossible, magic. Happily ever after. You're going to live a happily ever after. Uh, these people ain't. They got to pay up their karma. Spirit said no. These people have to pay up their karma. They don't get the happily ever after with you. It's like they want that stairway to heaven. Like you have the key to heaven. You have the key to, to a higher state of existence. And they feel like if they can get get through you or get by you like they they would literally like you hold the door open for these people they would go through and then push you out and lock the door behind like that's the type of energy that spirit is saying it's not going to be allowed to happen it's not going to be allowed to happen so they're warning you keep this money quiet keep it to yourself okay spirit sees you as their bride okay as their groom and you're being rewarded. And there is a huge celebration in the spiritual realm. Because they're saying that you have passed the test that you needed to pass this lifetime. You have passed uh, the first level of tests that you needed to pass. For some of you, it's the second. For some of you, it's the third. Okay, but they're saying you are ready for the next the next series of tests. Okay, but that is your read. That's what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this. I wish you the best of luck. And I wish you love and light. Take care. <laughs>